Another one of the fun things you can do is fishing. So uh, in the crafting tree, uh, in the gathering section, there's a fishing section and you see a fishing skill. Um, allows you to fish with a fishing pole and bait. Increases range and success as you level it. Uh, when fishing in any water type, to begin fishing, use fishing bait item in your inventory. So uh, we have a, a, a fishing pole by default. We got one when we started, uh, but we don't have the skill trained. So if I talk to a crafting trainer here, I'll be able to train it for 100 gold. Absolute bargain. Go fishing. And they mentioned bait in our inventory. Just running around killing zombies and uh, busting open dirt piles and uh, pulling grubby stuff out of the grubby pockets of uh, grubby bandits that are around here. Uh, we've actually gathered a bit of bait. All bait is labeled. It, it'll have the name of the bait and it'll say parentheses bait. So if you just search parentheses bait in your inventory, or I actually use T and then the close parentheses, um, I, uh, you'll be able to see all the bait. So I have a couple pieces here. Um, Drudge leeches are particularly nice in fetid water. This water isn't fetid, so I'll just use a common red worm here. And I can either double click it in my inventory and it'll give me a uh, cursor there that you'll see is red until I place it over a fishable area. This is all looking too shallow. Ah, there's a fishable area, so it goes blue. I click, and I'm fishing. I have a 14.4% chance to catch something. Uh, we'll see if I do. I'm not sure I will. A bit of a laid-back, kind of easy-going activity, so if you'd like, you can also just uh, sit by the, the riverbank or something. There might be a guy over here who has a, a piece of advice or two on that. The relaxing fishing lifestyle. But we'll go ahead and see here if we get anything. 14.4% chance. No, we caught nothing. But we did level our fishing. So we'll have a little bit better chance uh, next time. Uh, we are up to level 4 now. Uh, so let's carry on fishing. There's uh, some bubbles here. Uh, not only does improving your skill improve your chances of catching something. Casting into bubbles uh, is actually another good way to improve your chances. So if you hit those bubbles, uh, you'll typically have an improved chance to catch something. Maybe not something good, but you'll have an improved chance to catch something. So keep an eye out for the bubbles. Now, as we're fishing here, um, we're using bait. Uh, there is a bait recovery skill that means you use less. Uh, we don't have that trained yet. We'll have to get our fishing to level 40 before we can train that. But in the meantime, when we mouse over our bait, it'll say uh, our chance to consume. Although I guess because it's 100% doesn't show it. That's odd. It should be under range. Range is 10.5. That's how far we can cast. Uh, we don't have to double click this in our inventory, by the way, to fish. We can also drag um, the bait from our inventory to our bar and use it from here. So that's now on our utility bar. We can just click on our utility bar or press the number or the hotkey associated with that to fish. Uh, but with a little fishing and a little, a little leveling, we're already up to 18.3%. Um, and I guess having a 100% chance to consume is why we're not seeing that we have a 100% chance to consume. Once we unlock bait recovery, uh, it won't be that we lose one piece of bait every, every cast. It'll be that we have a chance to recover. And that can really save bait, which is important. Um... Not as much for red, red worms, which are cheap and plentiful, and can even be found in stuff like clay nodes. But when you use stuff like drudge leeches and uh, blood leeches and uh, tiny squid and rare baits that you'll encounter, uh, they give you a uh, better chance to catch better fish. They're pretty rare and hard to come by, so you don't want to use one every single cast. Bait recovery becomes very important. There's also other artifacts and gear, and even food that help with uh, various aspects of fishing, including uh, bait recovery. There's also different fishing uh, specialty skills. This is our general fishing skill. And then we also have one for fresh water, for fetid water, and for salt water. And raising this skill will always help our fishing. Um, raising the specialty skills will help it even more in that specific water type. So they really work together. This is generally the more important one, but it works very well with these others. And then if you really become a good fisherman, you can unlock the lava fishing uh, innate skill which increases your chance when fishing in lava, which is something you can do. It requires special gems, uh, gemmed lures to fish in lava, but you do not have to unlock this skill to fish in lava. You won't have a great chance to catch anything. It won't be uh, very productive. You'll use a lot of lures, but you can do it even without this skill. Um, I would suggest if you're going to do lava fishing, especially a lot of lava fishing, 
Um, I would try to unlock this as soon as possible. So take all these skills up to level 80, which requires you to unlock them, which requires this skill at level 80. Then eventually you can train this skill and start training lava fishing as well. But there's a uh, wide world of fishing out there. There's lots of fishing competitions. Like I said, fishing gear, fishing modifiers, uh, entire towns dedicated to fishing. Um, it's a, uh, <laughs> it's, it's a, uh, it's the, one of the biggest small aspects of this game. It's a, uh, one of, one of many, many little fun little side systems, uh, that a lot of people take great enjoyment from. 